Okay, like, welcome. welcome. Welcome to the capsule. That's normally Tim's job, so now yeah, we're now we kind of lost to that Tim. How's it, Tim? Yeah. Might be having fun out there. Yeah. So, yeah. Bright Boy over here from Bright Boy. Rino's from Go and Grow. Robert Go and Grow. How's it, guys? He's up and this and all. I say. We've got a lack of interesting little show happening today. Mm -hmm. So, first up, I'm a little biased. So, one Joe's is the source I use in all my bistro. So, finally, ugh, he's been fucking around with his labels and this and that and the other. Finally, he's got his source ready, so we get to taste that. Nice. So, I'm not going to comment on the taste because I know what it tastes like, but there is a little hot one at the very end, which is pretty hot. Oh, and then I see we've got a little creeper built on there. Just to wrap stuff yeah, Thank up. you, Exotic Chilies. Um, uh, he sent it to us. He sent us some sauces we're going to be reviewing later in the show, but I just thought, okay, I don't want to let the Biltong stay in the cupboard for weeks, you know. we got to get down here. Yeah, Biltong can't stay yeah. anywhere for too long. It's, it's, I'm surprised it didn't last it a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have that. Is there really one back missing? Okay, <laughs> you see. No, not see. really, but okay. yeah. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, got a couple of other guests. Actually, Johan from One Joe's is here, so no, he's I'm making men's, he'll come gonna, and join us. We're gonna have a, a Nick also from Super Fresh on, he's gonna be talking about his product, so yes. Stay tuned, gonna be lacquer. Awesome. Nice, guys. Hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> is that my cue? <laughs> 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 okay, so that's my cue, guys. I'm gonna be out of here. See you guys soon. <laughs> Chris. Hey. Welcome. How's it Nick? Nick. Thanks very much for having me on the show. Yeah. So tell us about your product man, Super Fresh. So basically uh, we've got a factory down in the Western Cape where we breed the black soldier fly and uh, from that we produce an organic soil amendment that's derived from the castings and exoskeletons of the soldier fly. Five, how many have you Five sources. So it's... Uh, Six, seven sources. So it's a pretty well-rounded uh, amendment. Uh, it's packed with, uh, it's a living soil packed with uh, microorganisms, uh, your macro, micronutrients, as well as a polymer called chitin, which is kind of a secret ingredient in, in the soil. And uh, it's, you know, basically what chitin is, is it's the, um, the exos it's from derived from the exoskeleton of the, the insects. And what it does is it tricks the plant into thinking it's under attack. So the plant immediately goes into defense mode and starts strengthening its cell walls. So the idea is you get a more robust, healthy plant that uh, you know, fends off insects and bacteria. And uh, pretty new in the market, but it's a new concept in terms of using sort of insect press uh, or insect fertilizer. But yeah, you know. Very nicely. Do you just use it on its own, or do you do you mix it? In so the way we're selling it is as a, initially as a you know there's two aspects. One is a soil amendment, so you'll mix it into your current growing medium, and then you'd sprinkle it on the top as a soil additive. So to put the micronutrients and the chitin and the nitrogen and carbon onto the soil, onto the plant, and that gives the plant a real boost. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to try some on our chilies. Um, I'm just waiting for some seeds to germinate and then obviously we'll be... Old school yeah, testing like we used to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One in, one out. Some further documentation. Yeah, you'll see all about it uh, as it progresses. I'm sure there will be a noticeable difference. No, I mean, you should see hopefully in the first week or so you'll see that the plants, you know, trip. I mean, we've had the cannabis community has been very receptive to us and we've had good results with them and the, and the cannabis plants, the, you know, you can see within, within 10 days, you know, your leaves are going green, you know, the plants start looking healthy quite immediately. I actually have a question, are you able to still use it during flowering? So, you know, every, grow, every grower seems to have a different opinion, but the general feedback that I've got is you know, it's, it's high in nitrogen and carbon, so it's, it's pretty much good for the veg stage. Some of the feedback I've had is, you know, there's not enough phosphorus for, for the flowering. And some guys, some of the growers don't like the high nitrogen content, in the, you know, when they're flowering. So from, ba from that kind of, you know, perception or feedback I've got, I'd say, Gene, for your veg stage, you know, it's best. And then when it comes to flowering, 
it just depends, I think, how you feel on the, on the nitrogen, you know. Um, because the, yeah, so the living the living organisms are continue breaking down the fertilizer and producing you know nitrogen the whole time. So some guys like to flush it and then and they just add the phosphorus to it. As a soil editor, then I think I'm going to then stop definitely with my grow and just concentrate then with my potassium. Nutrients. Now that I've added the super fresh, I'm going to leave that as the nitrogen. Yeah. Add it to the backup during my flowering now. Yeah. For that grow now. So thank you very much. Awesome. And your products, is it available? Is it um, ordered? So Distribution is easy. Can we get hold of it easily? Yeah. I mean, we've got an industrial facility, so we're producing on a large scale. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, we've been around probably about four or five months, but I haven't really come to market because I really wanted to to kind of get input from sort of reputable growers, who, you know, and the feedback has been been great. So now I've started, you know, uh, distributing into a lot of the grow shops, uh, a couple of online stores. Uh, but, you know, as we, you know, started some marketing now, so we are getting quite a bit of traction. But in terms of supply, there's no problem. No problem. No Available problem. in the Cape? In the Cape. So we haven't, I haven't, so our, our factory's in Worcester, mm -hmm. which is about an hour out of Cape Town. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, mean, I haven't approached, purely because I'm Joburg based, I haven't been down to the Cape and spoken to a couple of the retail stores, but it's, a, it's only an hour away from Worcester, so the factory's there. We raced there a few weeks ago, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you know, the guys, a lot of the, as far as I've been getting, you know, it's easier if they want to courier from, from Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I just haven't gone into retail at the moment there in Cape Town. But, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wonderful, <laughs> wonderful <laughs> company. Yeah, you know, they get things around, they just kept the sock out of a uh, seat here on the table yeah. for yeah. the <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, you know, and it works across everything, you know, from the vegetables to flowers to lawns, so it's, it's pretty versatile. So you know, other guys grow. Well, we took a cannabis soil, uh, cannabis specific, and put chilies into it. And geez, what a what an explosion those chilies! I mean, we got such amazing feedback from that. So the the, the two soils are very close in vegetable and uh, well, it's agriculture. You know, it's it's when you get so, to flowers that things get tricky. You know, from our side, you know, we kind of focusing it's an organic product. You know, everything is, you know, there's no, there's nothing added to it, mm. other than, you know, and the, how the product is produced. Um, and from the breed perspective, you know, we we're taking waste from the farms around. You know, they either you know, we're going to a dump, we basically utilizing it, so you know, reprocessing things, and you know, using nature's kind of, you know, this, the plants and the insects that evolved together for years. So you know, just kind of you know, utilizing it. Yeah, I mean, that's probably sort of, in a way a natural, it's a natural process that you're just capturing yeah. in a bag or something like that. Yeah. So that day, I mean, the microorganisms and, you know, you've got this little subscopic, you know, level. I mean, you know, they, there's a lot of action going on there. And, you know, we found that, you know, it regulates your pH. You know, you can literally, you know, add it on, water it. Indeed. What would your pH be then, more or less, when you say regulating your pH? It looks pretty constant. Okay. It doesn't, you know, that's, you know, that's the feedback. Um, you know, it doesn't so drop it or spikes no. it, it, it gives no. it whatever it okay. no. So it will work with all your other feeding. Yeah. So the idea is, you know, we say if you're buying a bag of amendment, or if you're buying a soil medium, just add say 10 to 15 percent of our stuff into the mix. You know, put it in the pot, let it, and then once the winds germinates and it's basically growing, it start adding the additive. And it's it's only enhances what the guy what you're using. So it's you know, so it's just it's a value add. So it's not going to counteract with anything that the guys are using. And some growers who grow in salts and they were worried about you know about how it would impact, but all it did is just enhance the product. So there's, there's no worry that it's going to do anything detrimental to your plant, which I know a lot of the guys are quite worried about.
but it's, it's all natural. You know, unless you germinate only in that, you'll, you'll burn your seed because it is high in nitrogen, but very few people, you know, will do that. Yeah, you wouldn't use it as a seedling mix, yeah. but uh, one for good veggie mix. Yeah. That's but, but you can mix it into your growing medium. You know, it's, uh, it's sort of about 10 to 15 percent ratio. Because we found that the, the earlier the plant can take in that chitin, which is which helps build its cell structure and makes it you know, more, you know, more robust, the better. So we've done tests where you know where the guys have the mediums on the seedlings and they just add this and you know they find the seedlings are stronger, pest resilient, not even tender. And also you see on the vegetables, on the chilies. You know, so the chilies, you know, we looked, looked briefly into it and we found that it's a well balanced, well rounded fertilizer. So for the veg stage and the chilies, it's, it will work well. And as and then the value add is also the you know that's uh, it's an organic pesticide as well. Awesome. So it's a multi multi function. Then there's the sugar. You know, there's also high sugar content in the soil, which basically also helps your soil, the health of your soil. And ultimately, we'll see now with the yeah. cut back on the molasses a bit. Yeah, and also uh, it should taste. Should have better, sweeter taste as well. Taylor, speaking about taste, do you eat chilies and hot sauces? <laughs> I do, I do. I'm eyeballing that biltong already. Uh, that I don't eat <laughs> the biltong, but I'll, I'll taste the chilies. But uh, God's good. me. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what I'm dealing with, so we can start, but you know, just do the introduction. Yeah, yeah these are the these are Reaper biltong. Let's give it a go, man. Don't have to have one of these yet. We'll save the taste buds for the sauces. What do you think? Huh? Say what's going on. Then you're not really going to taste the sauces. You think so? Yeah. So that's why, plus, that's the hottest thing. So we have to keep that for, for afterwards. Okay, small piece. Looks like we're going to take some time. No, it doesn't smell too it's bad. It's not bad, man. I'm going to take. It's got a good burn. It's got a good burn. Mm, I get scared of that when you say it's got a good burn. As a reaper, but... Why don't you crack the it? The flavour works well with Bolton. I won't eat a pack of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm. It's warm, man. Eh? Mm. Yeah, but warm's not hot. And hot's not super Ooh. hot, so... When South Africa plays cock, game of rugby. That will make it all better. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Now, but you take this biltong, you put, when the, when, the, when the people are coming over to watch the rugby by your house, you put biltong and you mix that into the bowl of biltong and you oh, yes. no, one, nothing. no one will come and eat my biltong again. <laughs> Second bowl, none of that. <laughs> and all you have to give them is another three chips. Ooh, I only got to two. <laughs> no, this is like, yeah. this biltong is like a, it's, mm. it's like a, it's on the higher end of mild if you eat only one piece, but obviously if you eat more it will stack, but I'll be able to finish like a quarter to half a pack of that. Easily. Mm. Easily. So, more so now that we tasted it's not that bad, maybe for at the end after the show, yeah, we'll put we must see how many can we do after each other. Exhausted. Ah, like, uh, oh, beautiful. You guys want to try? Yeah. yeah, let's give some to the audience. Oh, the audience. Audience. <laughs> the audience give us... They're going to be a bit more than the audience, but yeah. that'll come up still. You can smell the reaper. Sweet. <laughs> you don't get that reaper smell in... Well, yes, you smell the chili, but it's not like... That's hot as when it goes in your mouth. Yeah, it's as easy. It seems warm, eh? It's really warm. Uh, it's itchy. No, no, it's it's warm. Yeah, it's like it's it's a... Okay. It's got a good reaper taste, but it's not burning. No. This, yeah. this, this, any, any person who's not into to chilies can easily eat it. Uh, it'll it burn them, it'll be a... Mm. But yeah, it can easily eat it. Your choice of bolton, by the way, is also great. Love the bolton. And the spice is spot Yeah, yeah. This is hot, man. It's hot, eh? Just waiting for bribe with his wings and then... Uh, yeah. He's got a lot of meat in this room. Oh, yeah. Did you build that in tolerance? Right. Yeah. Titanium plating, but it should be that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel that all ceramic needs to be sliced. No, it's not at all. So, 
um, I'm the newest in, well not newest, I've always eaten chilies, yeah. but not to the extreme of the other yeah. three, you know, Tim's not here either, but, so, I like a, something hot in between in the week, occasionally, it's not that I have to eat everything hot, yeah. but um, my daughter has taken a liking to one or two of these, especially the cook's cabin, yeah. and uh, I see she pretty much every night. <laughs> Add some chilies on her on her meal, and um, you know it's. I like the breaks in between, <laughs> but you can't come here and eat a chili like this every Friday, once a week. You've got to have your tolerances in the week up a little. Are you hungry? Yeah, no, no. Guys, get you on in, have a chat, and he's done all Yeah. Okay, so thanks Nick. Uh, Thank you very much get for having me guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. Try I'll some be. sauces just now. I'll definitely try some sauces. Cool. I'll, get, really you, uh, I'll get you a bottle of wings and we'll put these out. Perfect. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Long, long way to see us. So guys travel to see us and we're thankful for that. Yeah, that super first is available with every good. Yeah, shop. We'll be stocking it soon. You're on. Welcome, welcome, sir. Welcome to our world. Actually, actually, welcome us to your world. I mean, this is your world, actually. Yeah. Hello, guys. And the chef. So, you guys from Monjo's. The towns are in here. Yeah, this is from Monjo's. Monjo's. Monjo's, okay. Can you get up a competition to launch the rechte pronunciation for the word? Of the way of variants, I don't know, Monjo's. Specific, it's time for Monica and Johan. This is Afrikaners, what they make as Jane and John's name. They come from a lot of people who have had, and that's what I'm going to do with them. And we're going to sit with my dad, so that's for something to do with the brand. So we're going to sit with each other, and we're going to sit with each other, and we're going to sit with each other, and we're going to sit with each other. Die bal was altijd ons ons prime mover geweest, maar soms was die die marken gegaan en die mensen begonnen een meer vrouw voor iets bietje warmer, bietje meer bietje meer soms een smoky dan en zo dan maar iets gebruikt naar die naar die eindige sense van iedereen wat ons daar heet op die wonder. Ja, ik denk je collection groeit zo van die tijd en zo. Ja, kijk die die smaak en die markt verschil, maar je weet met die mensen ook van net een klein bietje bij alle wonder weer. Hij wil vier, zodat je er een hoop voor kiest. Maar waarom brand je niet? Dus ik kom ons season of in season basis voor ons die, dus die kuist en dan natuurlijk ook die chocolate butter. Dat was die bad burner. Hij hij stapt nog wel redelijk zo. Ik kan kan niet wachten. Dat weet je dan de reaper, zo. Thuis bij de job back to normal. Ja, voel ik nog ook een stukje van mijn botten, dat is nog wel lekker. En nee, ik wil hier gaan nog iets die anders doen besides die usual doen met je saus en je dieren. Ja, marinade ook uit. Ja, als je marinade nog niet gebruikt niet, hij is nog nog dikke mock market research. Ladies and gentlemen, we were so lucky to get an opportunity to do the market research on that. I tell you, my kids do not want a certain dish that I thought I did well unless it has that sauce on it. So market research done. Thank you. So we will be we will in the foreseeable future we'll start bottling and obviously labeling. So those, that, that rice sauce, it goes as a marinade as well as a rice sauce. So we do a piece of meat today with, the, with that rice sauce in mm. on it uh, for you guys as a treat. And also we're doing a, our, our speciality dish, which is on our the recipe, recipes on our bottles, is the chicken livers. Mm. We have the Monjo sauce, so you'll get an opportunity to taste that as well. That's also one of my, my favorites. Um, also comes from the lodge where we've actually started using the that was just um, about to ask, is that like yeah, your lunch yeah. um, menu? Also, yes, yeah. exactly. So um, a lot of uh, guys, restaurants, buy from us at the moment, and they actually use it um, in, their, in their dishes. Um, specifically on the chicken livers or a patesco, which is a strip, tender, tenderized steak, just cut into strips, just use a sauce of that, a bit of cream and so on. So um, but those recipes are on the back of our bottles. Yeah. And um, we give you guys an opportunity to try them today and see what you think about it. Nice. It might, might not be as hot as you, the mouth is a 
Is it fair? So we featured, I think, year and day in some pro, in some show yeah, we had yeah. yours, but we not never as a full scene with full range show. And with that uh, young Mayo. Mm. Yeah, the Indian is a, is a chilling Mayo. That's that's Jody's design. Yeah. <laughs> Which we're playing with. Um, we are talking to one of the major retail outlets, uh, stores, uh, what you call them, and um, the, one of the requests from them was basically something like that. So that's why we started playing with that, and um, yeah, so hopefully when that gets the knot, we'll, we'll put it into the market as well. Awesome. Right. 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 Yeah. right, let me get to that meat, and then um, if you guys are finished the meat, then we can, you can start tasting your chicken livers that Mr. Brightboy is going to see. Ben, I'll come back later with the steak and uh, chicken of us. Nice. Great Great to 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 there. <laughs> Thanks. We are really getting spoiled here today, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think people are sending your sources and products. Take yeah. note. <laughs> <laughs> no, take note. We're really spoiled here today. <laughs> Thanks, Monjo's. Yeah, big selection. So get down to the road today. Yes, down get down to you. The three main road. Three main road, Bright Boy is doing us uh, a whole bunch of wings as usual. The place is starting to fill up. I see a couple of people waiting for takeaways. We don't want too many crowds, but it's becoming popular, ladies and gentlemen. Come get some while it's still available. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. On cue. That's it. Hey. Thank you. On cue. This is what we were excited for. I know I'm going to need a beer for this one. Mm -hmm. We welcome back, Bright Boys. Hey. Hey. I see you guys took a sneak peek taste of the bottom of me. You are so. It's right up your alley. It's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I still. I see so that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not doing it. Yeah, but let's get you another meat and then get some hot brands. So, all of the, the book like the ends going to be. So, we're going to be Manjo's Mild. Like, there's two of the Mild and the Mild smoke. Yeah, so, the thing is, so I use the normal Mild and Hot in the shop because the food's already smoked. So, the, if you taste them, you'll taste the difference just like that. But on the wings, you aren't going to taste too much of a difference because the meat's already smoked. Um, but it does have a lack of smoky flavor. So, if you've got normal meat that isn't or anything else, that isn't smoked. Mm -hmm. The smoky smoke one does work, yeah. So <coughs> make your KFC wings smoke. Yes. So yeah, his mild to me is right about where chili sauce should be. <laughs> <laughs> the hot gets my is my limit. And, and we've got a chocolate butler as an extra today. Yeah. Yeah, it's I just love it when guys use a range of chilies in their sauces. So you've got this of this, this of that, that of that. And I see a lot of the artisan guys are getting on with that trend. That we we'll refer in this, that and that, that and that. And it's it shows in your sauces, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. And the taste type experience is phenomenal. And we got them in stock here too. Mm-hmm. Oh well, mm -hmm. now he's ready. Gonna be able to get it at the blisters as well. So pull into Hatfield, plot the lunch if that ever opens up again one day. Oh, thanks, man. Um, come, come, plot the land. We need these venues going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see, that to me, I can feel burn there. There's definitely burn. That is not mild. That is. That to me is a solid 5 out of 10 heat wise. And that to me is hot. So now we're gonna have the smoked one. Smell it two separately and taste it to me. Vinegar, yes, vinegar red yeah. kind of. A, but yeah. not too much. Really. And it's yeah. quite creamy, but there's no cream in it. So mm. out the, the, the creamy out of there's a bit of cream in, and there isn't. So um, yeah, I really really it's enjoy these sauces. No, it's yeah. a fifteen out of ten flavor wise. Yeah. So if you want to taste yeah. the difference, taste yeah. them without the wing. It's probably going to taste very similar on the wings, um, the, the heat wise anyway. And this is now the, the mild, the mild smoky and we one. had the chili the sauce. Mild. So they pretty much the same thing, um, the ones smoky. Creamy and the ones, yeah. okay. Now the black label's got the mm. smoked version. Well, oh, wow, you did taste. 
And they sit on the wings. Yeah. Yeah. We know these wings by now, so we know how to distinguish the taste between versus that. And as a little surprise, so that's why you unstucked out into the brine now. Mm -hmm. There's a little recipe out on the bottle. Mm -hmm. You guys can see that. Chicken livers. So, got some livers to look forward to. And if it's cocked, then you unmade it. So, but it's not that. Well, these are distinctly different. Yes. But you, what I'm saying is, much, there's actually more flavor from the smoky one. From the smoky. Yeah. Yeah. And as you say, it enhances the smokiness on the wings yeah. itself. Mm. So, mm. And you get the, the vinaigrette kind of flavor a bit more with the one that's not smoky compared yeah. to the smoky one. Yeah. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, so, yeah, like I say, that's, lovely sauce. I hear what that's you normally say. where I heat it. That's a I hear what you say. solid hot for me. This is where we start getting warm now. So, well, this is not too hot. No, this it's not. not. That's what I say. That is no, not. That's a lacquer burn for me. So, when I do wings, I'll eat 12 wings like that. It's a pleasant burn afterwards. Everything is lacquer. The hot one is, I'll eat six wings like that. Um, 12 gets a bit much. It's it. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. Eight out of ten yeah. for flavor, definitely. Yeah, I've got too much sauce on there. Good mm. There you go. See, it was like a bit of a And you can clearly taste that. Yeah. It's a, this has got a step up on the burn immediately. Yeah, definitely a step up on the burn and a way different taste. You can, the taste of the chili comes through. Yeah. yeah. Gloving a little. <laughs> Yeah, but you will be glowing now because we had that reaper built on before the sauces. Mm -hmm. oh, this is smell the habanero on this one. Mm -hmm. Much nicer taste. Habanero is a very lacquer taste. Yeah. But, yeah, like I say, it's about... Mm. Mm. Step up again, eh? Mm. Yeah, we're stepping up first three now, heat level. <laughs> and flavor job. No, That's on the way. Um, <laughs> same thing, but this one's smoky. Smoky and butter. This is good. Oh, I think so too. Is there a smoky butler on the way? Right. No. the stat. You guys aren't doing the butler retail. No, not yet. No. Only for uh, people that was on the bar. On demand and um, it's not such an easy chili just to keep going the whole time, so um, guys. But wait, there's more, it's coming. It's yeah. coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to feel the heat, yeah. <laughs> and we only were halfway through. What do you think of it? Here is a dumb idea, so here is my meat. Here is for my. Really? No. Nah, man, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. Here is the dumb Let's go. Today I'm brave. Which one is this? Do you eat 12 of these? Oh, I don't know. Just go You'll know it. you. So I do a chili cheese basket as well. Cool. So fries with cheese and chili in the cheese grillers. You cannot finish that chili cheese bowl with a hot one. Well, this is also a banana. As we get to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, it's also a banana. Yes. I proof of many Lacoste. This is my favorite tasting yeah, sauce. Put it on the other I don't know. Really? As you said, they're creamy, but not creamy. Yeah, it's coming through. Um, mm. it's got the the smokiness is more prominent in the yeah. in the mild one, in the other yeah. Mm. But I like this one, that hint of smokiness, and then, like you say, it's basically it's, it's got flavor. it's got the smoky, uh, uh, not smoky. It's got the creamy. Creamy texture without the cream. cream. Mm. Yeah. So, guys, I could actually nibble on that sauce with anything. Eh? No, it works. Like I say, I did a chili cheese basket. Man, I love that lacquer. But you're going to start sweating. Oh, oh so really I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> Mars and Jobs. Okay, so what's in this for now? Are we doing that? This oh. is the ghost chili one. 
Oh, is that the ghost? Yeah, uh, well, so yeah, let me a boot like that today. Okay, yes. Yes. But, uh, but wait, they uh, okay. <laughs> oh, <fine. laughs> Almost thought we got away with it. No, no, no. Um, can we ask uh, our rent a rent a crowd quickly just to uh, give it up for our behind the scenes man, named Mr. Ryan? Yeah. Yay! I'm legend. Thank you, legend. Uh, or vet, yeah, depending on what day you get him on. Technical <laughs> difficulties. Whoa, man. My, my mouth is just exploding it's it's all it's the flavors. It's like... I can eat that, but then you know you eat the chili afterwards. This is where I start tapping out. So I'm going to start putting drops of these ones on. Mmm, drops. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, it's a long drop. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> no. It's <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. I'm doing a good um, I'll choose the smallest wing. So, whoa! <laughs> that one drop didn't look too bad. Okay, no, sorry, no. one long drop. <laughs> no, no, a long drop. A distinctive ghost uh, pepper. Mm. Smells of a ghost. Mm. Tastes like a ghost, but it's like a ghost. But I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see it. If it smells a ghost and it tastes a yeah. ghost, it must be our ghost. Uh, yeah, fuck it. 100% on that ghost flavor, man. That's what I like about his sauces. You can actually taste the chili that's in there. Mm -hmm. It's got the, so the other stuff complements, but the taste of whichever chili you've put in comes through strong. I was, I was almost about to say, the sauce is similar, except yeah, I for think the it chili. Is. Well, you won't tell us exactly, but I think um, it's like 99% the same base. Well, I don't know, but I kind of get that feeling. And just the flavor explosions of the different chilies. But guys, the ghost version is not to be played with. Though. Yeah, yeah, come on. It's a good <laughs> five out of ten. Four, yeah. Really, I'll just go like on my rating now. Yeah. Ooh, your What's rating out of ten. Nah, anyone, anyone gets some love of uh, half the team, mate. Right, it's it's my rating is yeah, a solid yeah. six or seven, man. I'm starting to see. Uh, that yeah. dolphin rush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, now we just get fucking silly. So, you know what? That, um... The boat on my child now. I would write this as hot as this we just had. Okay. Well, we If had not, I think this was hotter. Yeah, no, this is hotter. This is hotter. This is more got more ghost paper and it's got less reaper powder. Yeah. Yeah, guys. I'm yeah, gonna follow Spawn. <laughs> I see what I'm going to do. I should too, please, you suck. Just blow my mouth off. I was going to say, start on that side. Let me just grow up there quickly. That side's missing. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's take my back. Yeah. Okay, now that, those are solid and eight and a half. And it is hard today. On it? me. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the butt burner? Fuck it, they know, yeah, they know me butt, eh? Hey. Yeah, my butt. The butt burner. Okay, no, I let it. <laughs> Dribble this for me. I stuck my awesome. Ooh, there you go. Silences are clear. No. I suppose oh. it's weird. Come on, guys. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh. Mm. You can do it. That's so what you would call stacking, eh? Loading our wings there. Wow, you think? Guys in here. Uh. Off the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna. Uh. Bride boy is gonna creep us. Yeah. He's gonna explode. Mm. Mm. Get a fire extinguisher. Mm. Okay, well, I can't taste good like I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. This is just, it tastes hot to me. <laughs> Sorry, Jan. I started losing taste after the ghost game. That is, um, this is my favorite good sauce. Yeah, 15 out of 10 for flavor. What is Solid 7 out of 10 for heat. Boom, actually. Yeah, chop it brown. Uh, We're on a scoreboard scale. It's uh, very hot. It's up there. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. It's probably one of the most underrated hot chilies. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I think it's like 
in your top 5 or 10% of these things. Guys, come on. And again, I can't taste it. So I've, I've never tasted her. But the sauce, I can't compare it to you. I can't. I don't want to breathe this out in my mouth. Yes. Bird. This water. Oh. I guess for can water. Oh. Uh, flavor is amazing. Give okay. us two seconds up. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Yeah, so 1.8 so million plus scales. Yeah, more. Brown good luck. Bring it with this. Man, yeah. the sting. It's stinging. It's intense. So it says. <sighs> there's still a wing for the, for the mayor. You guys can try the mayor? <sighs> you know. As you know, I'm a fussy eater, so I'm gonna step out on the mayo. Is it any Jayonaise? Yes. Okay, so this is JD's own mayo. Are we gonna go and mayo first? Oh, or are we gonna do the steak while it's warm? I thought you were going to first do the steak. Yeah. The steak of the liver. Is it chicken liver? Oh, this is the liver. This is gonna be. Oh, now you've got one more wing with the mayo. Yeah, try the mayo. Try the mayo one first. I'm going to go and check that you guys are fucking up the steak there, that's my excuse. And I'm going to go cry in the corner, so I'm going to go two things, check on that. You guys can't. He's... He don't get his wife. Hold on. He's like that. He's proper. I'm going to leave this guy Ricky down. Just pull myself towards myself again. Um... You've been yeah. going to that corner a lot lately. Every show you end up in a mess on the corner there. I don't know how these guys do it. I really, really don't know how you guys can. Tolerance you the thing. You'll eventually get there whether you want to or not. Yeah, just want to sit this up. Mmm. Okay, well. But what's nice about this one, the burn lingers. Uh, for the chicken livers. I don't give a four ball. Thanks. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, you got your liver. Yeah. It's going to be nice and cool down and then we bring you the liver. Let's do this. I'll take this for you. Bright boy. Ladies and gentlemen, chocolate good luck is on special order. I suggest everybody at least orders one. I think we you don't like it, I do it again. Yes, it's hot. It. The flavor is phenomenal. We've got you at the shop, so it's in store. Come down to three number three mangroves. In stock on the shelf, price ready to go. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, our gingerbread man is missing. Even you sound like you were burning there. Right. What's Tim going to say about this good luck? Uh, it might jinx up. I think our gingerbread man will approve of this sauce. <laughs> oh, I'm just creaming this. This is what, by the way? Yeah, that's mild. It's a serrano. Yeah, serrano. See. Oh, I love a serrano. And? And remember now, the mayo will ease out a bit of the burn that's already in your mouth. And it will... He's a winner of the Serrano bit as well, so... That's going to be an answer, y'all. The flavour explosions between the chilies today has been amazing. This, the smell, the fragrance of this, and the texture. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now the good luck. Salad dressing. Salad dressing. Mm. But, but, the first proper chili nose. I'll eat this on anything. That I tasted. That's beautiful. Mm. Ah. Mm. In terms of the serrano, serrano taste, and in terms of the mayo taste, got that raw mayo taste, doesn't taste processed or anything, and the serrano flavor comes through. This is a proper official chili nose. I also say that. Well done. Yeah, I want to clear the place around, and then you can just. I just want to get that quickly, so I can just throw these guys away from there. They've got space to do their. Don't care. Put it back. Spoon testing. Just want to help it. I'm going to bring you this down. You know what? 
Today we are eating our fulfillment here. What? How do you put it? We're eating our full. Just as you we are. Yo! Man, I mean. Spoiling us rotten. The man himself. Thank you, sir. Hey, hey, anybody got Corona? Can try some of that chocolate bootla. He's gonna go out one time. Man! Did you have the lovers? No, no, no. They're cleaning up plates. That's an observation, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a recommendation. Okay, let's do it. So yeah, it was a, a steaky wilkabrai. Yes. Oh, guys, we are. Yeah. So that is with the rice sauce. This is this. Well, okay. And we have been so yeah. spoiled to get the oh, market oh. research of this. There's a lot more. Amazing oh, wow. marinade sauce. Let's see. Mm. Oh, do you have any quarters with the MSG? I think they've got nothing. You got nothing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm going to finish the leftovers. Yeah, I've got that too. Mm -hmm. Sort of complicated. Yeah, another piece here, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, the price sauce isn't part of your range yet, is it? It's becoming part of it because uh, some of the clients are asking for it. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, that's only. I think I've got a five liter order in already, right? Yeah. Yeah. The price will be. Label within the next week or so. You're right. Label surface for clients, so that will be yes. part of the range. And um, we're packing in a little 180 volt pouch, and we're going to call that a Bright Buddy. Not oh, Bright Boy. Bright Boy. Bright Boy, sir. Bright Boy. Bright Kick, a Bright Side Kick. I don't know. Okay, I'm a very creative, so okay, ignore everything I say. Bright Boy, like it. It's a little bit rare for me. But the sauce is a little amazing. Bit rare. It's a little bit overdone. You see, everybody's got their opinion. <laughs> 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 we had the wrong piece last week, didn't we? Yeah. The no, week we, before, huh? Yeah. I'll challenge you on eating the raw meat. Yeah. No, I don't like blue, okay? I like medium red to red. That's why. Mm. This, 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 this for me is, no. is medium red. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whichever, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> like we have great chefs, <laughs> we have great sources. Three main road, Irene, come And we have a very lot of opinions. So what you need to do is you need to pull in. So we might be talking shit, he doesn't like raw meat, I don't like hot sauce, you might like both. So come <coughs> have a taste, three main road, crossroads, Jan Irene. Every Friday we don't buy one niche. We, we're very fluid with our time. Yeah, start at 12-ish, end at 1-ish, but we had till 4 or 5 in the afternoon. Pull in, have a jaw. And Crossroads is 420, so come and have a chill. Oh yeah, I think. Uh, what you notice? So, uh, this uh, one again doesn't eat chicken liver, so can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, so it's just one. Uh, 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 this portion of it comes short skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper size. Uh, Easy. You might be served like this at the lodge too, ladies and gentlemen, from the chef's hand himself. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is have a pop and chicken livers, or you can do standard bun and chicken livers. Um, and that will do every Wednesday if I can convince him. So, along with what the fuck wings every Wednesday at Hatfield, I'll be doing the. Excuse me. Nice this outside. is so, the best I've had. Can I make forget your drink? So, I like the sauce. I'll get the sanitizer. That's so, it, it works good, but I don't do chicken livers, unfortunately. Yeah, so. Me neither. But this actually, look, I took a small yeah. bite, but this is the first time I'll actually eat yeah. chicken livers. Yeah, well, my girlfriend loves it, and so we played it. And what's lacking is you can actually make a ton of it, which sauces pretty well. Sauce. So, the bottom is a freezer now. Yeah, that's with that's the mild. Mild one. So yeah, the re recipe is on there. Very very simple recipe, but very lacking. Happy spring. Ha <laughs> ha. Anybody yeah, saw yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I, I got the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> I was fucking bouncing just now, not just spring. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah, it's okay. okay. His livers are mm. There's an brilliant. There's date on the 24th of September. Yes, by the way, start saving the date. We've now confirmed 24th of September. 
we're going to be having a, like a Friday party over here. So it is a public mm. holiday. So all of you no people that are, are actually employed, unlike the rest of us losers who are fucking employed. <laughs> so for the, those who are, are employed, pulling on Friday as all that will be like a... We're not employed, but we offer a service. There we go. There we go. So I'm like a hooker, but hey. It's a bracelet. That's a bracelet. Actually, not crime. Okay. You got a hectic schedule here in the next couple of weeks. You can be out uh, quite regularly, won't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we sh shot Apollo TV. So yeah. actually, oh, yeah. Yeah, on Wednesday we shot Apollo TV. That's actually I think a pilot episode in about two, three weeks time. We're going live. Apollo TV. Dot Check that out. Every week a new thing. We actually is suck on the last episode. Yeah, so it was so much fun, eh? Yeah. I love the way chatted about medicinal and about what, and we make a bit of a bit. So it's a, just a lack of care. It's called Cock Prop and Bry Boy. So it's, okay. that's literally the name of the yeah. show. Cock Prop and Bry Boy. That's launching yeah. soon. In two, three weeks, that's going live. Yeah. Let's be honest. It's not just called Cock Prop, cock prop with Bry, bry Boy. That's, that's what we've been doing. Do it, show. Literally. It's a lack of social tools. Stupid cock the whole time. <laughs> but actually, quite educational as well. Yeah. So it's, we do share a little bit of Cock Prop with Bry And singing. Singing we have been spoiled today, mm. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Bonjour, thank you very much. Well, okay, so the next two people mm. walking through the door can taste some of the livers, then they'll be gone. But you know what? Actually, we'll, we'll make some livers. We'll do poppin' livers mm. on the 24th as well. But they've just I decided yeah, we'll have poppin' yeah, exactly. livers. Exactly. The flavour of this is amazing, but I like bright. Don't, I don't do livers. I don't do it at all. I'll stick my finger in Rinus, but <laughs> oh, wait. In my liver. <laughs> stick my finger in your liver. All the way into the liver. Pickle your Rinus and liver. I'll tickle the liver with my pinky, but that's about as far as I go. Like I'm a very, I love food. I really, really love food. But that's why, I, if I don't enjoy the taste and texture, stuff, the same with mayonnaise. I'm not in my own yeah. Look, I'm having fun with these livers, but something can have the nicest taste if the texture doesn't work in my mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I can't. So I'm not fussy on texture. I like contrasting textures. That's why I like a smooth with the crunch or this. So I like, it, but I'm not so fussy on texture. But yeah. Uh, no, I got Put a tomato There's in There's a lot of other fine. parts of the cows and chickens and everything. Like we don't have to figure out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's also that unit. So like I want a tomato bread and tomato and onion on my pop say food. I'll cook with tomato, I'll cook with mustard, I'll cook with this and the other, even mayo. So like on a, a, a chicken, if you do um, mayo and your chicken, if you cook with it, it's fine. I'm just punishing myself, but I can't get over these flavors, man. Very, very lucky. Like I say, so... One day soon, when we finally agree, it'll be available in my shops as well. On Mr. D, you can order them, um, all of that stuff. And yeah, and three main road already. Three main road already, shelf. already, yeah. Yeah, already, yeah. So, and unfortunately, there's no preservatives, so you have to get your quick else is gone and you'll have to wait till we restock it. Yeah. How long does it last in the shelf, by the way? Sources, yeah. An hour? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Enough vinegar and uh, salt and chili <laughs> in that. In that, in that in so it's it's right way, it needs the some problem is, energy, I think though. we've already topped up on orders. Mm. Yeah. Not only at um, Mojo's Artisan, but there's a couple yeah, of guys. So, mm. keeping in mind, ladies and gentlemen, chilies are seasonal. Well, for guys, and all of them sauces <laughs> also. Uh, <laughs> I'm it's too full much. of chilies, so you can't. Oh. Yeah, I have one. Is that one? He's already no, it's already not that bad. He's got one there. That um, good club was yeah. worse than this. Yeah, yeah. Even in goes. You're right. This okay. is a table snack. I thought but the first one and two were. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to put some good club on the belt. Like, right? Well, fuck, yeah, but. I was a little bit brave. I was a little bit brave. I was a little bit brave. Ah, the lacquer, fuck it, right? Yeah, okay, at first it wasn't burning me, but like, it is by you the gas does not smile. They think they're not smile. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. Then you had a yellow pocky can eat me, but it's not burning your face so hot. Um, no, no, no. And two I wasn't going to have another one, but I might be a little bit now. Two, three pieces is going to make your next drink taste that much better. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, eating pockies are long going. My mouth means a lot from yeah. that. Uh, ooh, quail is what they say. Mm. Yeah. Like it. Yeah, I mean, lots of flavors in this one, mm. like Robert said. Well done, guys from Monjo's. Keep up the good work. 
I think that is it. This was Leon, though. Anything else? Exotic chili. Yeah, this is Leon. Right, yeah. Uh, you mean, this That's actually grown. very, very lucky without two artists. I said I might have one or two of them too, and now like they reach my limit. It's Leon Gustav. He's a you can see he's an indoor chili grow setup. Man, that is legit. Yeah. He's got a proper setup, and he's growing. He'll rival some mm. cannabis growers. Yeah, that's what I say. Man, that's that. We that is get into phenomenal. You. No, that's well, another stuff for us. Yeah, we sources are. We're gonna do his sources also in a few weeks. Um, next week, yeah, we're gonna have some interesting ones too. Nice. Actually, come join us on our new deck. That is literally okay. The paint's still a bit wet this morning, so <laughs> yes. actually give it another half an hour. And then, but no, it's, it's looking awesome outside, guys. So people that were here last week that yeah. didn't see what we did this week yeah. will go. And there's a very interesting move. story so with that deck because it's actually catching the water. And um, are we going to get the those guys on the show at some point, or we just yes, we probably yeah, no, we yeah, so they can little. explain how the whole system works. works. But in but short, it's actually very like an eco-friendly, reusing the water. Yeah. So and it makes shade, so that's fantastic. Before we yeah. stop the live stream, we're quickly going to turn the camera a little bit before you stop, so you can get a quick glimpse. But you have to come here to see the full effect. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Stay well. Stay safe. Stay.